It's time to ride the train. Hey guys, it's Holly. We are up in Georgetown, Colorado today to ride the famous Georgetown train. This is a old fashioned train from over a hundred years ago when they used to use this during the mining days of the late 1800s and early 1900s. So we are very excited to ride this train. It goes into the mountains and I've always heard about how cool this train route is. It's been on my bucket list for a while to do and to do with my kids. So come and join us right now. You can buy the train tickets right there at the depot, but I recommend going online and purchasing your tickets early because they do tend to sell out in the busy summer months and weekends. So if you have a date that you want to go for sure, it's better to lock it in and get your tickets early on. There's no additional fees for ordering online, which is great. Once you get there, you will still have to go to the ticket booth to pick up your tickets. Another tip that I recommend is to arrive early. They say when you buy the tickets online to arrive no later than 20 minutes before your train is departing. I think it's better to arrive much earlier than that. 45 minutes is what I suggest because you still have to go get your tickets at the ticket booth and sometimes there is a line. You also wanna hit the bathrooms before because there's no bathrooms on the train. Also, it's great to get there early and be the first to in line. That way you get to choose where you want to sit on the train before anyone else. Yay, we're going on the train ride! The whole train ride is an hour and 15 minutes. It's about a half an hour to get to the destination. Then there's a roughly a 15 minute break when you're there and then another half hour on the way back. It's a great amount of time, especially for young kids. Conductors on board are very helpful. They actually give a bit of a narration during the whole train ride, it explains some history about the area and some really interesting facts when it comes to trains. The whole train route though is simply breathtaking. Beautiful mountain scenery all around. To be up in the mountains in the summertime is my favorite time of year. The fall I could imagine though is even more beautiful. From Georgetown, the train takes you up to Silver Plume. And at Silver Plume, when they stop, there is a museum there that you can check out, as well as restrooms and a gift shop. Overall, it's a great spot just for some fun photo opportunities.
In addition to the train, you can also do a mining tour. They have some mining tour packages that you can purchase when you purchase your train ticket. And the mining tour will take place on the route back. They will make an announcement for people to get off that are doing that tour. We didn't do the mining tour, but it definitely looked like a fun option to do maybe in the future. The speed of the train is very mellow. It doesn't go too fast. So I felt very safe having my five-year-old on board with me with all the open air windows. There is of course the big bridge it goes over. You don't want your kid hanging out the window or anything like that, but definitely a comfortable speed. You can even get up and walk around if you want to. back to the Devil's Gate Station in Georgetown. If you didn't get an opportunity before, you can go and check out the gift shop there. Maybe get a fun souvenir from your train ride experience. And also there's other cool photo opportunities right there at the Georgetown Station. But that is our experience riding the train. It was a fun thing to do with my kids. Definitely a great family outing. Well, that was our adventure on the Georgetown Loop Railroad. A lot of fun. Highly recommend it. The ride was so much fun. Yeah. Thanks for coming along with us. Bye.